going to share a story with you about perspective. You've heard about the person who's lost at sea. They're in a boat. They don't see land. And all they wish is that they could make it to safety and find an island where they can take refuge. And then you've got the person who's on the island. All they can think about is if they only had a boat, they could get off the island. They'd no longer be stranded. So life is all about perspective. It's about where we're standing and how we see things and how we react to our surroundings and how we find ourselves adapting, adjusting, and learning from the situation. Right now, the perspective taking is we look around us and we miss our freedom. We miss our ability to come and go as we wish, to uh, see our friends, to see our family, to go to our workplaces. Basically, all the normal that we took for granted, we are now looking back and thinking, gee, I miss all that. See, if we can look at where we're actually sitting right now, for the most part, 80, 90% of us are likely at home with our families, our significant others, our dogs, our cats, whatever it is that you hold dear and whoever lives with you. We're spending time with people that are closest to us and getting to know them even better and hopefully building a lot of patience so that they can be patient with us and we can be patient with them. We're spending time with ourselves. Many times we don't actually get the pleasure of sitting down and having a great conversation with ourselves, listening to ourselves, what we have to say to grow and to learn and to understand how we can improve our current state. So a lot of these things that we now find ourselves enjoying or not, in a few months we'll look back and say, hey, that month that I spent at home in April with my kids or or um, working from home or working remotely or just away from people in general and surrounded by the people that I love. Yes, there were some stressors out in the world. Yes, we were um, reacting to an incredibly life-changing global crisis. But start at home. Start close to you with the environment that you can influence and control or almost control to your best of your capabilities. And that is with your environment. Take perspective of that which is most around you, what you can control, what you can react and learn to respond to. Right now, we're becoming acclimatized to, to the news. So we're no longer surprised when we hear about another person infected or another 10 infected or even a few or many who have died, unfortunately. And that's because most people like you and I are actually in the safety of our own homes. We're not braving it out on the front lines. We're not serving people in grocery stores. We're not helping people in hospitals. And we're not the front, you know, the front line people and the first responders who are actually braving their asses so that they can keep your ass and my ass safe. So for all of us who are sitting at home and enjoying some, some peace and quiet and, and family time, let's take some perspective and be grateful. We're going to be looking back at this time and thinking that was a time that I was able to reconnect with myself, with my children, with my spouse, with my parents, with my whatever, whatever you hold dear. That perspective taking is really, really critical now because there are people who are not enjoying what you and I are enjoying. So please, for those of us who are complaining that it's really inconvenient, that we're getting bored and we can't go to the gym and we can't go visit our friends and life is changing a bit. Think about the people who are really out there for whom this has become a war zone. Now, fast forward three months away from today, going into the future. Are we going to retain some of these values that we're holding dear now? The values of our freedom, the values of having our old normal. But are we going to learn from what we're experiencing now? Are we going to be grateful for what we're evolving into? Are we going to be grateful for the perspective that we have now on life and recognize that we're still here, that we still have people who love us and that we love who are around us and we have our safety this is very important. So take that perspective and recognize and realize and be grateful for what you have. But also, a lot of people are talking about how the world is better and how the earth is better. And we're 
connecting with people and people are holding, uh, treasuring the presence of other people. That's great. Unfortunately, it doesn't require a global pandemic to get us to care for each other and to be empathetic. And it doesn't require many people to die and many people to lose their jobs for us to recognize the value of other human beings. And let's make sure that when we cross this bridge three months into the future, that we can look back and take perspective of where we are today and those values that we in, that were becoming very endearing to us today and the values that we build on remain with us so that we can continue to strive and make this earth a better place to live for our children and for future generations, for, for the environment. Let's make sure that we take perspective and learn from this lesson so that we don't need another global pandemic to recognize what we have and to be truly grateful for what we are now missing and lacking. So perspective, whether you find yourself in the middle of the ocean on a boat, count your blessings that you're not drowning. Whether you find yourself stranded on an island, count your blessings that you're not in the middle of the ocean drowning. You're still better off than many others. Be grateful. Think about what you can do to help those who are drowning. When we come out of this, keep perspective. What can you do to help those who are also drowning daily? Whether we're talking about in developing countries, people who don't have access to clean water and, and food and, and a roof over their head. What can we do to make their lives better? It's all about perspective. Stay safe, stay positive, abundant hope to you and yours, blessings and peace to you.